Hello and thank you for joining me today. My name is Jo Rose and I help realign people like you to find your destiny through numerology and energy healing, especially those who feel that there is more to life. My discovery has led me to explore alternative options and through numerology I know why we are here and through our emotions I know why we are um, off, off path, off track. So today I want to share with you um, a little on numerology forecasting and how this can help you in the month of September. So 2017 according to numerology is a number one year. How do we get to this? We add together 2 plus 0 plus 1 plus 7. 2 plus 0 is 2, plus 1 is 3, plus 7 is 10. Then what we do again is break it down. So 1 plus 0 from the 10 equals 1. So what's happening now is we are in a one year. So what does a one year mean for us? A one year is a new beginning. But before I explain to you about this one energy in this year, I want to explain to you last year. So last year was a nine. We could say that nine is the end, one is the new beginning, and it is. It doesn't stop there, it's a cycle. It goes round, just like the weather, just like the year. So last year was all about endings, preparing us for this year, of new beginnings. Year 8, the year before, 2015, year 9, 2016, and year 2017, 1, are three fast running years. They are really looking to bring forward everything that's been building up to this point, clear out, ready to start again. So last year we saw a lot of deaths, a lot of change, we had Brexit, we had Obama leave ready for Trump to come in. There were big changes and there were big deaths that we saw. David Bowie, George Michael, Prince, many people. They've been moving out ready for us to start again and to start again with a fresh beginning in this year. So in this year we're looking for new ways to survive as we leave Europe. We're looking at new ways of being under new uh, prime ministers and presidents. And we're also looking at new things in the NHS, in, in everything, in, in what we do. So it's all about new, fresh start, sowing seeds. So the universe at the moment is giving us an opportunity for a new beginning. And it's really such an exciting time because this new beginning can work no matter where we are in our life. Hi Vicky, good to see you on board. And I see that Debbie's joined in. So, uh, sorry, Deborah, nice to have you here. So this one energy is giving us an opportunity, no matter where we are, to create something new, something fresh, something vibrant, some action. Um, because for a long time, some of us have felt stuck or we've got new ideas that aren't necessarily fitting into the way that the current system is working. Hi Zoe, I'm glad you've joined us. I'm just explaining about the one energy. So the one energy is really a new beginning. So um, it's a chance for us to show our individuality, our independence, our leadership. It doesn't matter what field we're in or whether we're meek and mild or so outgoing, we're able to... Um, be a leader in our own field. We have leaders in floristry, we have leaders in building, we have leaders in politics, we have leaders in medicine. Finding your passion and following that is how numerology can help you. So September, what is important about September in this one year is, it's the month that, that aligns with the year. So September's energy is the strongest energy for a one. It's, it's the best time now, especially when the children are going back to school for those that have got children. It's a great time now to sit down and really focus on your goals and what you want. Often we hear people talk about um, uh, New Year's resolutions, but they don't necessarily work because January is not the time to, to make these New Year's resolutions unless you know what you're doing. 
Alex, good to see you've joined. Long time no see. Hi Zoe. Um, so September has got a double whammy of this one energy and the universe will be giving us opportunities and we may not always see them as opportunities, we may see them as challenges, but I want to say to you that everything has two sides, silver lining to everything, up, down, inside, out, there are two sides. And if we can see drama, if we can see um, uh, challenges, we can also see successes. And often you'll find many millionaires, billionaires or great ideas will come out of a recession. Oh, good to hear that you make your resolutions at this time, Zoe. Hi, Helen, thanks for joining. So, September is a great time to look at the essence of this year's energy, ready for October, when we really get a taster of next year. So, because it's a one energy, I am sharing with you all today how you can use this no matter where you are in your life. So, we're not all necessarily in a one year, we're in a year, our own personal year. How do you work this out? You take your birthday, so mine is five, fifth, and I add it to my month, which is eight. So five and eight is 13, one and three is four. So I have four that I'm gonna to add to the one, which means I'm in a personal five year. So for me, I have looked at what this means for me and what new beginnings I can start in that, and I'll explain. Another example I'll give, because I want to use double digits, is um, 27, so two plus seven is nine, of November, one plus one is two, nine plus two is 11, I got that right. Nine plus two is 11. Yes, of course it is. Sorry, I've got to stop. I've, I've just lost my train of thought here. <laughs> so 27 is nine and 11 is two. Nine and 11, nine and two rather is 11. So yes, I picked a funny number here, but it means two. So that person will be in a two year, in a two month. If somebody throws me up their day a month, I will work it out for them so that I can show them what year that they'll be in. Helen, you think you're in a five. How did you get to that? What, what day and what month were you born? Okay, so it takes some time to come through. Um, if you were born on, say, the 16th of March, you would add one plus six is seven, and March is a three, you would add the three to the seven, that's 10. One plus zero is one. Oh, Vicky, 20th of March. So again, two plus zero is two, March is three, so we'd add two plus three. So Vicky, you're in a five. Helen, you look like you're in a six actually, because November is 11, one plus one is two. So, and Zoe says she's in an eight. Okay, this is excellent because I'm gonna to explain to you how the one energy is gonna work with all of these numbers. Yeah, Helen, you are a six. So, so that's how we do it, but I'm gonna put some um, posts underneath this to re-explain how to work this out. So I'm just going to move you around because I just want to quickly show you. Can I do that while you're on this? Oh, I might have to take you off. Bear with me one moment. So I have taken a photograph of this. Oh, it doesn't work anyway because it's back to front. No point in showing you this. I've taken a photograph and I'm going to place it underneath this so you've got something to refer to. But most of the information will be in my soul empowerment group. So let me explain. What does it mean if you're in a one year? If you're in a one personal year with this one year, you are being driven quite fast along with the universe. This is a, an amazing time for you to start a new business, start new relationships, start, start new anything. But it's a year where you really must take action. 
So I've put a few words up on this board just to remind me of what to share and how you can bring yourself back into alignment. So if you're in a one personal year, look for new beginnings, new ideas in a, an existing business or a new business. What's not been working, look for a new way to work for it. It's all about taking action, 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 because that's what's going to create your result. And it's about being individual, be creative. The one energy is all of these and you're being guided. If you start a business in this year, within nine years, you could have yourself such a, an amazing business. You could go so far because you're being carried by the universe. I want to say something about seeds. Not every seed takes. When we plant in the garden, some the weather damages, some just get dug up by animals or eaten by birds. Not every seed takes. Uh, takes. But the, if you're really passionate and behind this, whatever seed you sow can be successful. In my one personal year, I created a course called Foundation for Life and it was where I started from. Initially, I thought this was the answer to everything, but then I realized it's just the beginning. So it's just the beginning for you. Create something new. So if you're in a two personal year, it's all about relationships, balance and patience. We've had three fast years, eight, nine and one. Two is about patience and we'll have that next year. So we'll see it all slow down. So this is the last opportunity we have with the real um, final push in September to really make it happen. So the two energy will teach you patience and observation. You'll find yourself frustrated because it's much slower than last year, but use this as a new way to assess things, a new way to see how your relationships are um, teaching you things. Use it as a new way to really understand who you are. All too often in this fast paced world, we're not stepping back and seeing what really is going on. We're seeing with our, our head and not with our heart. And the two is asking you to look at relationships in a new way. Okay, Debbie, I'm gonna leave this recorded so you'll be able to come back, but um, I'm glad Oh, good luck wherever you're flying off to, and I will share more with you. So a two is about balance. How can you balance your relationships? That's your relationships with your intimate partner, your children, your parents, your work colleagues, your family, and really yourself. The most important relationship we have is the one with ourselves. Make sure it's balanced. Make sure you have enough me time. It's important. So start making a new um way of communicating with people. Make sure you're listening, make sure they're heard, make sure you're heard. Those in the three year, it's all about self-expression, creativity and communication. What I wanna to say to you this year, in September, is where can you be more creative in your life? How can you communicate better? Find different mediums, whether it's your business or for pleasure. Take time out, take a painting class or a sculpture class, or a cooking class. I often find myself on a three uh, period in my life looking to do something new. Once a month on a three day, which will come into another time, we have this energy. So use the three energy to be creative. Use the three energy to write your blog. Use the three energy to work on your book. Use the three energy to find new ways of interior design or rearranging your room or, or doing whatever it is that you want. The three is a social animal. And if you've been feeling a little bit quiet and out of it, use the energy. This is a good time to create new relationships with the one energy that's out there. It's a good time for public speaking. It's a good time to be seen, seriously be seen. So use the three energy to take you off into uh, new friendships, new creativity, and most of all, your imagination. Be curious like a child, inquisitive. A child doesn't stop because of any fears. Just go with it, be a child in this energy. The four energy is about planning, order, and structure. The four really needs security. So what I wanna say with the one energy of this year is look at new ways of creating stability. I was talking to a client today that was saying that they, they really have to get a job because they want security. And I'm saying to them, but if the job goes and jobs aren't really always there for us now, is 
how can you create security? Well, if you've educated yourself well, you'll become your security. So look at, look at security as investing in yourself. That's the best security because we never know what's happening with the base rates, we never know what's happening with employment, and things change all the time. We get used to a system and it changes. So whether it's your business or your home life, look at creating strong foundations. So, so far we've looked at new beginnings and that's the seed. Two is where we nurture. So I need you to nurture this seed so that it can grow. Three is where the seed breaks through the soil and we start to see the shoots. This is how it's expressing themselves. And four is where we lay the roots down. So what roots do you need to lay down in order for your business or your relationships or your, your financial situations to, uh, to become strong? The five year is about freedom, adventure. It's about progress, effort and promotion. So I mentioned I was in a five year and the five year for me, I'm looking to, is, is for promotion. I'm looking to promote myself. I'm looking to be seen. I've been following numerology for a number of years and I've been living it for five years now. And, and each year that I follow this, I find that my life is just stacking up nicely on top of one another. So five now I'm ready to be seen because I've laid the foundations and I'm now ready to be seen. And here is why I'm challenging myself to do these Facebook Lives. So five is a, a very fast year and we get bored easily, but we've got to be careful we don't become too scattered. So create um, new relationships, go to new networking groups, make new friendships, go to a new, new destination. Promote yourself, but you've got to put effort in. Five often wants to sit back and let the world come to it. And that's very much of what we're in, this quick fix world that we're currently in, is, is all about it happening instantaneously. If something's worth having, we have to put effort in. However, when we work by the numbers, we put effort into the right things, we get results quicker. So take hold of the five. It's about constructive freedom, not just freedom. So those of you that are in a six, and that was Helen, Helen, you're in a six, it's all about family, it's all about the home, and it's all about service. And often we find we seem to be doing more things for everybody else than ourselves. Don't ever leave you dry, and you must create a balance between helping others and helping yourself. The six energy often can become meddlesome because we want to fix everyone and everything. But we, we need to wait to be invited in to do that. And the best way we can um, shine our light to be of service of others is to look after ourselves. The six is the number of healing. So have a look at, uh, with the one energy, what new things you can do with regards, again, like the two, your relationships. Also, it's a good time to look at your garden. Get it stocked up. Do you want to grow your own fruit and veg next year? perfect time to start thinking about how to prepare the garden for winter ready for spring and the the food that you can grow six is about family and i want to say that it's a make or break in relationships if you meet you can meet your soulmate in a six year so if you're single and you'd like to be out there put yourself join events go out do things but do things in alignment with you because it's a good time to meet somebody the six energy is also the year of divorce. I'm sorry to say this, but it still will be a new beginning if we end up with divorce. So um, the six is really about taking the relationship to the next level, the next level that's gonna serve you. And if you're in a strong relationship, sit down with your partner, find joint goals. Because if you've got one goal and they've got another goal, you'll end up doing this and you could end up looking at a divorce. What you want to do is find goals that just keep you um, going straight alongside one another. You don't have to do the same business, you don't have to do the same activities, but you want to be going to the same place. The destination is the magnet, the journey is what's important. So have a look at home, family, 
balance and responsibility. Allow the one energy to see it all with a new light. Moving on to the seven. The seven is about introspection, study. If you were adding up the date and month of your birthday, aren't I always going to be an eight? When we add up the date and the month, the day and the month, if you've got an, um, like I say, mine is 5th of August, five plus eight is 13, that will give me four. Oh, you're welcome, Helen. That will give me a four. I then add that to the universal year, which in this case, 2017 add to a one. So I'm in a five year. Next year, we'd add it to a two, because it, 2018 will add to um, an 11, one plus one is two. I'd add two to my four, which means six. So we'll move on to the next energy. So back to the seven. So what is the seven sharing with us? The seven is really telling us to reflect, to go inside. And we may find, even if we were a party animal, this year we want time out, time to ourselves. What can we do that's new? Meditation, yoga, shadow work, reflection. Okay, I'm in a nine year, oh, perfect Zoe. Um, sorry, seven. So find new ways of understanding who you are. I often say to people, you really want to connect with your feelings in the moment because they're your sat navs. And we're so busy up here, we're not spending time down here. And this is where the true answers will come. So this, this September, take time out to find out what's going to be new for you. What courses can you study for your spiritual and personal growth, for your business growth? Look at um, me time. Me time is so important. This is really a big time for healing. Not so much as in the physical, although it will heal the physical, but it's the emotional and mental time. Find out what your inner child wants. Start listening to you. In numerology, which is not what I'm really covering because I'm forecasting with it at the moment, but in numerology, when we, we look at the core numbers, there's certain numbers that drive us. The life path is the challenges and opportunities that come our way. The, um, the heart number is really what motivates us. And all too often, we've not been following what motivates us. We've been following, I must make the money to pay this bill. I must have a job. I must do this. I must do that. I'm saying use this one year because it's a time for, for massive change. And September is that time for this new beginning. You really must have me time in the seven um year or the seven month for you start asking yourself better questions not why did this go wrong but how can i move forward because the universe is always delivering what we ask so how can i move forward it's really about going inside and when you go inside, you may find answers you don't want to, but it's no different from cleaning out your house. Sometimes there'll be a spider's web where you don't want to find it and you've possibly walked through it. Other times there'll be just a pile of dust or um, some dirty dishes that have been left in my son's room, not mine, I add, but need to be cleaned. It's the same with cleaning out ourselves. And the seven year really is this. When we do this correctly, we are really ready for the eight the big vision year next year. But moving on to the eight for this year in this one energy, this is an amazing time for you to take back your personal power. I challenge anyone in an eight year right now to look at where they're not stepping up and step up. This is a month where you can be recognized. This is a month when you can reap, well, you will reap the benefits of what you've sown over the last um, eight years. The one is allowing you to see this with new eyes. Because if you're at an eight level, your business has been growing strong or your relationships are going strong, we don't want them to go stale. So we're looking at new ways for um, remaining in, in the path that we're in. The eight is also about financial order. This is a month where you can lose or make. And often those on an eight life path, separate from this part, end up losing the most in a divorce. 
because they have the ability to attract great resources, great funds. They also, therefore, are a sitting target to lose it. So look at what you can do with your finances. Do you need to create new budgets? Do you need to um, look at where you're investing your money? It's so important to look at the finances in this period of time. It's about karmic balance as well. What goes around comes around. So like I said, you can make a lot of money, you can lose a lot of money. So the eight is really the money number and more importantly, the number of personal power. So I challenge anyone in an eight to find ways to step up. Moving on to the last number, which is the number nine. The number nine was last year, I explained to you, it's all about letting go, releasing and transformation. It's about forgiveness. So if you're in a nine year using the one energy and you want to create better understanding in your relationships, is it better to be right or is it better to feel loved? Is it better to be right or better to be connected? Sometimes it's better to be right and sometimes it's better to be connected. But I'm asking you to look now and see what's serving you and what's not. The nine is really about clearing out. Think of winter where everything dies back, ready for spring. The nine is about um, conclusion. So look in your subscriptions, look in your friendships, look at your business. What's done its time, what needs to go. This will allow you great transformation. When we close one door, it means that we can open another door. We can't keep filling our wardrobe up with clothes unless we, we, unless we get rid of some clothes. So the nine is, um, it's all about endings, but not for death, but for new beginning. We may find helped with the one energy that the one is pushing us to have um, a new job and new relationships. So the nine, if you find that there's, there's challenges at work, if you don't feel comfortable getting up in the morning, take a look at your job. It's possibly time to move on. The one is allowing anyone to start anything fresh. When we follow the numbers, we get better results. I know when I follow the numbers, I've gone from an idea of teaching and coaching and facilitating numerology and energy healing. In the second year, I had to learn the art of patience. In the third year, I thought I would create a blog and write a book, and I did start a blog at the end of the year, but that was the year I found myself um, expressing myself by decorating my house. I had this idea, this dream, that I want to run retreats. And so I started to create my home so people could come here and enjoy the retreats. Somebody said to me, you can't run retreats from your home, and I was a bit saddened. I did, then discovered Airbnb, and I am a super host as Airbnb, and I started this as a taster, and everything's one step at a time. So I run the Airbnb to see if people enjoyed coming to my home. And lo and behold, everybody tells me it's got such a healing energy, so it's perfect. In my four year, I was so busy with Airbnb, I, I didn't really get to doing the retreats. The five year is about visibility for me, and so I'm making myself visible. Because next year, the six energy, the community, the family, I believe that's when I'll start having people stay here as a retreat. So when we build on everything, when we use the flow of the universe, we get it. When we force something, it doesn't come. We're not in flow with the universe. So sometimes we may get a goal, but it's taken everything. Sometimes it's cost us a relationship, it's cost us our health, it's cost us money. By following the numbers, I've also discovered that I don't have to worry about the money because the money comes at the right time. When you follow your passion, you sell yourself all the time whether you think you are or not. Forecasting will really help you. And what I'm offering to do is, if you join my group, Soul Empowerment, throughout the times I will be doing Facebook Lives in the group, giving hints and tips of how to work this for you, how to understand your relationships, how to understand um, your personal power, how to, to look inside at your shadow self. If you've got any questions, please leave them below.
If you want to join the group, I'm going to put a link below so that you can come and join the group. And um, I will post a photograph to remind you all of what the numbers are offering. I could go on. I'm not sure how long I've been on here and I'm mindful of everybody's time. I'd love to share more. I'd love to share about your life path, your heart's desire, where your skills are hidden and why you're here, what, what you're going to mature into. Understanding numerology is, is a whole new language and at first it was like Russian to me or any other language for that matter. As I've got to understand it and live by it, there is nothing more empowering than knowing that the universe really does have our backs and it has mine. And I have gone from wanting to end my life to feeling that every day I'm glad to wake up because I can't wait to share this because I can see how much it's turned everything around for me. We've been fitting square peg round hole. It's now time to find the right peg, right hole for you. You created your destiny, you hid it in your date of birth and your name. If you wanna know more, please get in touch. And also please share how you're gonna get on with your goals that you're gonna make. I'd like to say thank you and one more thing. Love yourself first every day. Life, it's your life. Live it, stop surviving. Thank you, speak to you soon.